Hi, welcome to Conversations with Joy Kapu. I'm glad that you've created time to join us. And today, second episode, yes, yeah. So um, I've got a powerful, a powerhouse here sitting with me. And her name is Johanna Manyaka. And uh, she will introduce herself. So today we are going to take you through conversations to do with women in leadership and the power of empowering others to thrive and i just want to emphasize that you know this channel is not only about women i know that for a couple of um, episodes to come we'll be interviewing women and we're also going to be interviewing men as well so this channel is for everyone from all walks of life not just only women so johanna Thank you so much for creating time to be part of this uh, conversations with Joy Kapu. I know you're one of the people for many years that you've been asking me that, when are you going to start your own channel? When are you going to write that book? <laughs> and finally, <laughs> here we are, yeah. divine timing. Yes. And uh, it's, it's happening. Yeah. Thank you for honoring my invitation to be part of this. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, this is long overdue, I must say, um, and I'm very happy uh, to be invited on this channel. I know that um, a lot of people are going to benefit from this, you know. Um, and oftentimes I say, you know what, uh, my other friends, I tell them about you, I tell them about the sessions and the coaching. So now that you are out there, mm -hmm. this is just good news, music to my ears, actually. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for the feedback and kind words, yeah. So before I even ask you to introduce yourself, you know, who is Joe, I, um, I call you affectionate and affectionately Joe, and um, what you do, <coughs> excuse me, and also um, women in leadership and empowering others. Um, I just want to tell the viewers, you know, at home, you know, how we've met. We crossed paths in 20, was it 18? 18. Yeah, so Joe attended one of my programs. Uh, it was emotional intelligence. Mm. How many programs did you do with me? I think so I did two? two, yes. Yeah, mm. she attended two programs with me uh, through you know, her employer. And uh, one day she just came to me after class and she said, oh, may I please have your number? <laughs> and not knowing that from that courageous move of approaching me, asking for my number, it led into sisterhood, friendship, partnership that we're going to talk about, Joy Kapu Consulting, you know, and uh, one of the organizations, you know, for you giving back to women. And, you know, also still one of my coaches, my client, you know, and thank you so much for supporting my organization. Mm. Thank you. So who is Jo? Sure. That's a, that's a huge <laughs> question. Uh, I think first and foremost, um, I'm daughter of the Most High God. I call myself God's workmanship because that's exactly who I, I am and God's creation. You know, um, I owe my being to God. Uh, I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I'm a career woman, I'm a philanthropist, um, I'm a sister, you know, <laughs> I'm a whole lot of things. <laughs> yes, so, but uh, mostly I'm for people, family and people out there mostly women empowerment it's one that is um what's in my heart mm. most of the time yeah. yeah wow you know i was just looking at you when you were just telling the viewers who you are and the glow on your face you know one can tell how passionate you are about the work that you do and most importantly i really loved how you introduce yourself saying I'm the daughter of the most high you know who you are yes you are centered you know you are grounded you know in that mm. and that is just so beautiful yeah so uh, before we get into the work that you do with women empowering women uh, and I mean that's your highest calling mm. so please just tell us a bit about yourself what does Joe do you said you do a number of projects you know I always tell you that you are a Jack of all trades and a master of them all, because I know excellence is one of your values. Uh, you don't do things half-half. You always go like you're in it, you know, mm. and 
what what do you do you know so i know you do a couple of things yeah let us into that yeah you <laughs> you yes <coughs> i i actually do a lot of things um and i think a lot of things came like later sort of in in my life as i got to understand myself better and to know myself better because oftentimes you go into a journey of life as a as a person as a as a young girl you just want to see yourself thriving you know um and prospering and being successful but you don't actually know the true self mm -hmm. or the actual calling that uh god placed you on earth for you know you just see career you just see uh, company I have to I want to work in this company or this is what I want to do you know you forget self you you forget the actual purpose you are here on earth mm -hmm. so my background um, I'm a IT I don't I don't like to say I'm an IT person <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm a, that's where I'm in that's the space that that I'm, that I'm in mm -hmm. um, I've, I've been in multiple or various organizations mm -hmm. Uh, in the IT space and currently I'm also in one of the uh, financial sectors um, they're leading the in the in the group IT space as well so my journey has always been being a specialist mm -hmm. right and I remember throughout my journey as I reflect each time I was due to enter into a leadership role mm -hmm. I would actually resign mm -hmm. but I don't think a lot of people know about this, but mm -hmm. they just thought Joe is maybe job hopping. But for me, um, as soon as they say, okay, fine, now you, you, you need to lead this, you need to be in the leadership position, I would just resign. Mm -hmm. I was just comfortable in my space as a specialist in my little corner and doing my own thing, mm -hmm. you know. And I did it for few companies, actually. And I remember the last one where I did that, I stayed in that position three months. I said, okay, let me try it. And three months after that, I resigned, I left again. So where I'm at right now, I think I, even maturity, as I did that, I was growing as a person. I got to know who Joe is, you know. Uh, I was now intentional about my journey. It was not just about changing careers or moving companies. It was more from a personal uh, growth, you know, more than career growth perspective, you know. Mm. And I think I was, I was just comfortable in my, in my shell, in my little corner. Uh, no one knows me, I was just fine, you know. Uh, but what I've also noticed is sometimes we don't realize uh, the power inside of us. You know, you just think that I'm um, one of those people I go with the flow, I'm part of the flock like that. And I think that's where we actually, you get to a place of frustration. Uh, you're not satisfied with your job or your career, but you can't even pinpoint what the issue is about that. You just not okay, you're just not comfortable in that, but you don't know to say, what can remedy my situation versus me job hopping? You know, yeah. because you don't understand the actual problem or the actual issue, you know. Um, in one of the programs that I took with you, one thing that still stands out for me is that, is it the iceberg analogy mm -hmm. that you, you, yeah. you taught us with. And mm -hmm. since then, I use it every time. When I pause, I go back to there to say, I'm behaving like this because of this underlying stuff. You know, my behavior is as a result of unmet needs mm. you know so I, I had to but that came with obviously coaching that came with interactions with people like you to say actually there's something missing it's because you are running away from your actual calling and calling and that's why you're not comfortable with where you yes. at yeah. you know mm. and I, 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 I often say I thank the Lord people in my life they're in my life now I'm intentional about my relationships. I don't just enter into any friendship or relationship like I used to as a young girl. Mm -hmm. I'm very much intentional about what That's I'm doing great. with my yeah. life right now. Mm -hmm. Because um, what value am I getting out of this friendship? Yeah. You know, um, there's things called time wasters in life. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, I had to learn about that later in my life. I wish I had learned certain things as I was growing as a as a young girl. That's great. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Yeah. So 
Wow, uh, quite a mouthful. Yes. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, yeah. Yeah, um, what you've said, and uh, I really thank you for that. I just want to take you back to when you were talking about being called uh, into leadership roles, and uh, you would shy away from that. And I'm thinking someone watching right now might be saying, wow, I mm -hmm. resonate with that. Usually when I'm being called, you know, and I just step back, you know, I play small and uh, we are made, you know, to make manifest, you know, the glory of God that lies within us. Yeah. So, and because this can assist someone else out there at home, wherever, you know, in the world watching, saying, I resonate with what Joe has just said. What was your lesson, greatest lesson from that? You know, I like asking you questions as, as, as yeah. a coach. You know, that how did you attract this, mm -hmm. right? What is your part in this? What can you learn from this? And what can you do different next time? So what, is, what are some of the lessons you took from that that can also help others, you know, out there to step into their power? Um, I think for me, um, <coughs> uh, the, the biggest challenge in, in that journey or what results in you not wanting to step up to your rightful position, for example, is while everyone else is singing your praises, you yourself, you are not realizing that I am that, you know. Everyone else might be saying you are powerful, you are this, you are that, but if you yourself, you don't believe that you are that, mm -hmm. It's very much difficult to actually step into um, where you're supposed to go, you know, that journey or that role or that position, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think for me what helped me was I had to be courageous, mm -hmm. you know. I had to challenge this um, fear head on. Mm -hmm. I had to put structures in place. I had mm -hmm. to be intentional about me wanting to mm -hmm. step into this mm -hmm. and take ownership of who Joe is, you know. Yeah. Um, while I, I, I acknowledge the people who are in my circle who saw uh, me as this powerful person, while I did not realize that, you know, people like you who all the time challenge me every single time uh, I have to practice before I give you a call because I know she's going to ask this. She's going to say this. And right now, I don't even have the answers. I don't know, <laughs> you know. And I, I know oftentimes I would call you and say, right now, I don't need a, a coach. I need a sister, you yeah. know, because I'm like, I, I don't want to be coached. I don't want you to <laughs> ask me questions right yeah. now. I just need you to listen and to pre uh, uh, assist me with this decision or assist me with this issue that I'm struggling with, mm. you know. And I think you pressed the right pers I mean, buttons mm -hmm. to actually assist me, channeling me, especially in my career, mm -hmm. you know, um, whereby you are in this, you're looking at other people, you think that they are actually better than you, you cannot do this and this and this. You made me realize that you are that person, actually, you know, and be in that moment mm -hmm. and do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. And I think that for me, to get that affirmation from a powerhouse like you, for me, it was um, a turning point. Thank you. Yeah. Just take us through Women With Works. What is it all about? When did you start this organization? What is the mandate? And uh, yeah, please do so. So okay. Women With Works was uh, founded in 2016 um, on the 9th of August. So 9th of August, Women's Day, it's actually our anniversary um, and I think the driver behind that was just me being passionate and observing how women are skilled and talented but they don't have that platform to be able to actually take their their talents to the next level you know you meet this person she's doing very well but it's like they are limited. They are just in their little corner, happy with whatever they are doing. But whereas if that support structure is created to enable them to actually thrive mm -hmm. and be, and knowing that I have people, my other sisters who are there, who have journeyed ahead of me before, who can come and 
give me those lessons, you know, who can support me, who can carry my hands when I get tired, when I get discouraged, because uh, unfortunately, you know, as much as we, we can think that government is doing this and this and this, it's not actually reaching the level of people that actually they need these interventions, mm -hmm. you know. So we need more organizations like Women With Works. Um, though I must say that the journey hasn't been easy, you know, oftentimes I've given up, I was like, no, I'm not going to do this anymore because mm -hmm. it's not easy, you know. Um, I mean, such things you need, you need funding to be able to push other people. You need expertise. And one thing also that, you know, I was actually reflecting was my own flaws, if I were to put it that way, in terms of business or entrepreneurial uh, matters. You know, I find myself starting this thing, excited about this thing, uh, but it's like the excitement dies down because you don't have the support, you don't know who to go and, and speak to to take this to the next level, you know. So it's like you give, in a, you give up along the way. It's like, no, maybe I'm not actually worth it. Why must I do it? So I think it was because of my own personal weaknesses mm -hmm. that made me to actually see. I could, I could easily see that this one has the same struggles as me. But then I took it, I personalized it to say, what could help me? What did it, what aid did I require as a person? Mm. You know, then I started making those things, uh, jotting them down to say, these are the tools. If I had such tools, mm. I could be somewhere, mm -hmm. you know. So this person, because I can see that they have the same struggles, if we can create this platform with these tools, with the right people in our circle, in our space, uh, because the motto of Women With Works is connecting women. Mm -hmm. Women, when they are connected, they are powerful. They are trailblazers, you know. They can build massive uh, conglomerations, you know. Uh, but because now we are in our own silos, it becomes a problem. And even when those that are supposed to be powerhouses, they don't get to that level to be noticed, you know. We've got a lot of unsung heroes out there that can actually... Um, feed into our economy mm -hmm. because of their skills and talents but because now it's like they do this thing and then they, they they don't have that support they don't even know which door to go and and knock it then they give up yeah. you know mm -hmm. and that now results into um poverty and the lack in their yes. lives yeah. you know yeah. so yeah great yeah thank you so much so you keep on talking about um energy and people that are mm. in your circle, mm. right? And um, which is quite powerful. You know, one of the things also taken from this is that you guard, you know, your energy and your circle, you know, fiercely. You just yes. don't expose yourself anymore to no. people that are not really going to add value into your life. You mm. know, the saying that your network is your net worth. And yes. net worth doesn't only mean in monetary terms, yes. you know, because, you know, energy, what am I getting from you? What are you investing into my life? Mm. You know, it can be just time or saying positive things, you know, or the person challenging you to step into your power, yeah. you know, all that, yeah. So um, you, you said um, Women With Works is all about connecting women. Mm -hmm. So someone out there is saying, wow, I really want to be part of this uh, network, mm -hmm. right? You know, connect with you know, the powerhouses. And I know this can add value into my life. Mm -hmm. So how do they connect, you know, with you? How do they connect a uh, website, www.womenwithworks.co.za. Uh, my number, I'm sure uh, you, can, you can share later uh, with your, with mm -hmm. your viewers. Yeah. Um, and I think even going to the email, website, email, they email can address get yeah, as all the well. info. Yes, right? all the yeah. info. Yeah. So we are on rebuilding mode right now. Okay. So I would say to the viewers, they must watch the space. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So mm -hmm. guys, watch the space. You know, uh, there's magic, you know, cooking in the yes. kitchen of <laughs> women with works. Yeah. So thank you so much uh, for that. And like we've said earlier on, Jack of all trades and master of all of them. <laughs> so you do a number of things, projects, you know, you've got a generous heart, you know, you give to the people. Mm. And I just want to find out, Joe, how do you unwind? How do you take care of 
itself because we're not human doings, we are human beings. Lately, um, I'm not exercising as I should, mm -hmm. right? But I'm, I'm very much aware of that flaw there, that weakness. Um, but um, I read, you know, uh, Brene Brown, um, uh, Robin Sharma, and only because you, every time I come here, you would quote five books. I'm like, why does she get the time to read? Mm -hmm. You know, so <laughs> now you have challenged me. Now I read, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, now when I when I travel, I take a book. Um, I don't I don't sleep now in the in the plane when I travel. I take my book, even if it's one chapter. I'm conscious about it right now. Um, even the the YouTube channels, I'm intentional about the content that I listen to. You know, to empower myself. Yeah. So those are the things, and I, I had to learn that. You know That's what? Great. We can't yeah. all all the time be serious yeah, in life. You need yeah. those pause moments where That's you just awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So before we wrap it up, what's next for Women With Works? Yeah, um, you know Women With Works, I've realized something. As much as I can try and give up, I can try and hide from it. The world knows about it. People will still call. I'm, I think in this week only I got probably two or three calls to say, you are so quiet, you've, you've gone quiet on us. What's happening? We miss the events. We miss the seminars, you know? And it's like, I, I, I have to always be on my toes because it's not only about me. Mm. It's about people there who are waiting for this thing. You know, each time they look forward to say, what is she bringing? Which speakers are going to come and motivate us? You know, the people, they look forward to it. And I think maybe now because we're going towards the month of August and they know that August is our anniversary and our events oftentimes is around that time. That's why maybe now they're saying, but you're quiet, what's happening, you know? Mm -hmm. So even when I don't want to do something, but because of the expectation out there, it gives me that pressure to actually want to, yeah. yeah. And yeah. It, it just, it ignites the fire inside of mm -hmm. me as well to say, to want to do this thing. Because you've got cheer, uh, people cheering uh, uh, for you out there to say, you know what, you can do this, just do it. Do something. It doesn't have to be big, yes. but just do something. So Great. definitely, I yeah. think around the month of August, yeah. It's not even a thing. Okay, yes. It's Let me not say a thing. <laughs> you know, I'm very conscious about yes. language. I call it the language of mastery. Yes. We don't do a thing, maybe, maybe. whatever. Yeah. No. It's so beautiful. Thank you, thank you for Sunny, It represents your personality, actually. Yeah, that I yellow. think so, too. It's you. Right? Yeah, it represents your personality. Yeah. And I really, you know, appreciate you. Mm. And Thank you so yeah. much for the opportunity. Mm. I mean... You and I, I think you keep me on my toes. That's why I'm saying, you know, every time I call, I have to practice first before I call you. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I would be driving here. I'm like, oh my God, he's gonna, she's gonna ask me this and I didn't do this <laughs> and I forgot to do this and she's gonna want feedback from this and this and this. So you keep me on my toes and because um, I used to procrastinate a lot, mm -hmm. but now I don't mm -hmm. anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. So those are some of the things mm -hmm. that you have actually coached me well around you know so so i don't even know I have words all i can okay. say is thank you thank yeah. you and thank you for the opportunity thank you thank yeah. you so much i'm glad that you know i could be of service to you yeah and i appreciate you thank you thank you it's a wrap so thank you so much uh for taking time creating time out of your busy schedule to watch this episode uh, it has been lovely you know, having this conversation with Joe. And until the next episode, take good care of yourself. And I still want to go back to what Nelson Mandela said in Long Walk to Freedom, that courage is not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. So let's co-create with that fear, whatever negative emotion, because they are there for a reason, and be the masters of our own lives. Bye for now.